A lot of people requested that I make a video driving the Pontiac, so here it is. It's a bit noisy in here. That sound that you can hear is the speedometer. The gears inside must need to be greased, but all the gauges are working correctly. This is a pretty comfortable ride as you would expect from a large American car like this. Feels like driving your couch down the road and even going around these roundabouts, it requires only the force of about a pinky to move the steering wheel. I am on a pretty rough road right now, but I also think that this car probably needs a new set of tires. It has sat for many years without moving, and of some of those years, I know that many of the tires had gone flat. So I think at this time, the tires are not quite round anymore. A little bit of that might be worked out the more miles you drive, but for safety's sake, it's probably best just to put a new set of tires on. The car does brake, but you can tell it takes a lot of force for uh, these brakes to stop this really big car. The oil pressure still looks good. It's staying at about 60 PSI. My final thoughts on this car are if you have the room for a car like this, this is a great choice. Everyone likes a Tri-5 Chevy, uh, 1955 to 1957, and this is pretty much one of those cars, but a little bit more unique. There won't be a whole lot of people that show up to a car show with one of these. The big downside on this car, the parts are not the same as the Chevrolet or the Cadillac, especially when it comes to trim and body parts. Getting replacement parts for this car may not be easy, so if you're looking for one of these, buy the best one that you can find. Let's take a look around the car. This car is still in barn fine condition. I haven't washed it or cleaned it off yet. Here's a good look at the inside. You can see the original upholstery. The lenses for the interior lights are over there. I'm afraid to pop them back in. I don't want them to get ruined. Here's a good look at that dashboard out in the sun. Take a look at what's in the glove box. Looks like we have some old road flares in there. There was even a light for it. Let's see if they were smokers. Nope. This car is equipped with a Wonder Bar radio. You can see you have bass and treble adjustments behind that knob. And on the other one, it actually says more stations headliner is still in great shape on this car i love the chrome trim accents that they put on the bottom of the doors here the gas filler is hidden behind this trim right here rear of the car is very space age. Inside the trunk, see the original trunk flooring up there. Still has a spare in the tools. It's amazing to see cars that have still have all of this intact and in pretty good shape. It's nice to see that the oil bath air cleaner is still with the car. 
There's another radio in here. It's not a Wonder Bar, though. I wonder if the car came with this radio and someone switched it out at some point. More space age accents on the top of the front fenders. The tires currently fitted to this car are 215 75-14s. Underneath the hood, of course, is that 347 cubic inch, 270 horsepower Pontiac V8. This car is equipped with both power brakes and power steering. And it is still fitted with a generator. This car does run on 12 volts.